Okay, hello all. Uh, I just was sitting here painting and I realized you know, I haven't done a video in like probably years. So while I was sitting here I thought I'd just paint and, and talk and uh, you know, discuss some of the stuff that I've been working on. Um, I started a new project doing a 20 mil modern um, and I've been printing, 3D printing, most of my vehicles um, for the game. Um, we're going to be using Force on Force for smaller engagements and I will be ordering Saber Squadron for company to platoon level games. So right now I've been painting up uh, a platoon of infantry I'm working on a platoon of tanks. Uh, I've got a platoon of BTR 60s done. And I've started a platoon of BMP 2s. I am waiting on the third BMP 2 haul to finish. I do have the turret done for it. It's hard to see in this white. Um, yeah, I got another T 72 here and BMPs. And then I will be printing off six BMP1s. I've got three turrets without uh, the Sager missiles and three turrets with the Sager missiles. And then after that I will probably print off some more T-72s, probably different variants. And uh, more BTR 60s and a couple different variants. I think I'm going to print off a platoon of BTR 80s. Um, but right now I'm just sitting here working on uh, the BTRs and the T72s that I do have done. I'm working on some of the gun metal and uh, getting those done. Um, trying to make this project I'm trying to make it so that I print off I would say more than half my vehicles and I'm thinking the scenery as well with uh, you know stone walls um, buildings I'm going to try to you know, maybe print some buildings. Um, and right now I'm just working on Soviet vehicles, but I plan on doing some Western vehicles like Leopards and oh, M1s, Bradleys, um, Humvees. Uh, if I can, M113s, you know, and we'll see how many, how many vehicles I can actually do without, uh, the challenge is to see how many vehicles I can do without uh, buying too many. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm doing it in 20 mil scale and not 15 mil. I was thinking about doing it in 15 and then I was unpacking a whole bunch of items that were in storage and uh, came across a huge amount of 20 mil 172nd scale modern Americans and British and I was like hmm I don't, you know I don't want to uh, spend a huge amount of money on, on uh, on this, I, I'd like to keep it in a certain budget because it was a an unexpected project that I've wanted to do. I've uh, seen quite a few people uh, playing um, Team Yankee, um, and it inspired it inspired me to uh, dig out uh, the twenty mil stuff. I could have just left it in the box. <laughs> Would have been easier if I had just left it in the box. Uh, 
but you know I really like modern Cold War um, right now this project is not Cold War it is um, Ukraine um, so current conflict I know some people like you know it bothers them I'm sorry about that if it bothers you um, but that's what I'm going to be uh, using this stuff for um, and uh, after this project's done um, more than likely going to be working on Cold War gone hot and I will be doing well, Americans and Canadians and uh, and I'll be reusing some of these vehicles for Cold War Soviets. And we will see how it goes. I think the main thing that I'll be purchasing um, is I want to try to get keep all the vehicles 3D printed. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that completely, but I'm going to try uh, and design some to print off. Um, there's a couple of vehicles I know that I probably won't attempt to uh, 3D print. I will probably purchase them. Um, probably aircraft being one of them. Um, but uh, I think uh, mostly it will be infantry um, from different companies. But uh, I'm going to try to keep the core vehicles all 3D printed. And uh, the detail is, you know, decent for what resolution I mean. I'm at a fairly medium level resolution, but uh, everything seems to be uh, looking really good. Um, we'll see uh, how everything goes. Enjoying the. Uh, I I only started this project in the, in the last two weeks, and I've already printed off eight. I'll be nine complete vehicles by tonight in the last two weeks, and uh, you know I I've had a lot of people ask you know is it cost effective. Well, it's not really the cost, because um, the filament that the printer uses to print the vehicles is fairly affordable. It's fairly cheap, too. Um, anything from $12 US up to $50 US. That's just, you know, some a ballpark. Um, and each print, you know, doesn't use that much filament. Um, what it is, is the time. It's the amount of time that it takes to print a vehicle. Uh, T72 to print um, takes seven hours for the haul, another two and a half hours to print the turret and the heavy machine gun approximately. So, you know, that let's just say on average eight hours to print a T72. So I can maybe print two vehicles a day. Um, I, actually, I would say one vehicle a day because you're printing the turret, the bot, the chat, the hull, um, and the heavy machine gun. So, you know, I've been lucky in that I have printed two vehicles in one day, and that was the BTR 60s because it didn't take quite as long as a T72. Um, but uh, you know, it, it's going to take me a little, a little bit of time. I'm trying to print off full platoons at a time, um, and while I'm printing them off, I'm I'm uh, trying out different paint schemes and stuff like that. Um, 
and I will be making uh, you know accessories to sit on the uh, backs of the tanks to you know weather them, uh, decal them. Um, I might have to order some decals, but I'm gonna look through my sheets of decals. But uh, you know that's the plan is to possibly get a, a company of motorized infantry and BTRs. A company of them in BMP ones, a company in B BMP twos, and a company of you know T seventy two tanks. Uh, you know, I'll probably try doing some maybe some T eighties, T nineties. You know, they're but they're a little bit uh, more modern. Um, but I think the Stay two tank is going to be the T seventy two. Um, I'm going to try different uh, hull configurations um, and turret configurations because there's um, ones with the uh, reactive armor um, and there's all kinds of different combinations and you know fuel drums not on the back of the tank fuel drums on the back of the tank I'm just going to try different combinations and uh, see what I can come up with and different paint jobs. But I think most of the vehicles I'm going to go with a pretty standard uh, green. So that way that I could use them uh, for Cold War later on. And that way I get multiple uses out of the uh, prints. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Saber Squadron. Um, I've heard really good things about it from a few different people and reviews that I've read online. And then I will have to uh, start building some 20 mil buildings and stuff. Because I, in, in the past, had 20 mil buildings, but I've given them away or sold them because I stepped away from 20 mil and moved into 15 mil. Um, I think a chunk of my scenery is 15 mil. There's a lot of F. a bit of it's 28 mil because I, I do play uh, black powder in 28 mil. And I did play bolt action in 28 mil. But I am switching over to bolt action in 15 mil. I also play Battle Group from Iron Fist Publishing, which I enjoy a lot. Yeah, so I thought I'd sit here and while I was painting the video, because wow, it really has been a long time. I, it almost feels like two years, which is not good. I'm going to try to do uh, more videos. I'm not promising anything. Uh, I have a, a child, you know, teenager, basically, a girlfriend, you know, a job. So if I can do a video, if I'm sitting here just painting, I'll just ramble on. That's basically what this is, it's just a ramble. So I will call it at that, and hopefully I can do another video, and maybe I'll, you know, keep you guys up to date on how the 3D printing is doing, and uh, how it's turning out. I'll do some uh, videos while I'm sitting here. Okay, thanks guys. Have a good night.